And now, as you can see here, this usually shows up as IMBU. Now it's showing up as malware bytes. And if I'm malware, Now here you can see that Malwarebytes is not connected. There we have it. This must be the IP address for Amazon Malls. And if I'm running a spyware scan now, it's been going on for quite a while because this cache is super hard for it to scan, it takes forever. Anyway, you can tell from the videos I've already created that this is abnormal behavior, that it's sending less than it's receiving, but still sending way too much, in my opinion, when I'm not doing anything. But then again, I have not created anything, and I did not start this right away. I did watch them access my recent files, which I did write, I did create some text, but no designs, and of course I still have these popping up, and I enabled my spyware to automatically start instead of manual start. Nobody but me in a room. Why do I have 12 established connections? 13, now 12 again. Here we have 
<clears throat> listed under IMBU again. Establish connection. I probably should have been watching this all night because last night, just earlier this evening before I rebooted, I was at <coughs> over a million bytes and only received 15,000 here on NetBIOS and NAS. Wow, I was not connected to the internet. Well, I connected, but not online, not nothing open, just <laughs> running my scams. Now this was showing up under Firefox yesterday, and now it's under making the SAS core. Let's see, I've lost four connections without doing it. I went from 9 to 13 to 9, established connections.
Now the question is, how much did I miss before I started recording this? Hmm. Who does the 224 belong to since it's always there? You know, what would make things much easier is if I clicked over here and I could actually see the IP address as well as the disk. That would make tracking down criminals a hell of a lot easier, don't you think? <laughs> You're going to allow them to upload our stuff in the name of data, data collection. You have to give us options to prevent it. I've turned off the services, nothing is working. So if we can't, we can't prevent it, we should be able to at least do something about it. So here, there should be information with the IP address or just add an upload monitor so we can see exactly what's being uploaded. Nobody's patching or working on anything for better security for the victims of this kind of theft. So we need resources. And we're, who's going to provide them? Security firms don't care. If individuals can be taken advantage of this way, don't you think corporations can too? I mean, the, God only knows who else is going to enter data collection phase. I have watched system pull up my passwords. I have watched system pull up every personal file on my computer. I have watched search UI when, <clears throat> when I'm not searching for anything. I have watched my event event logs just delete themselves while I was trying to see what was going on. So, if I'm not being hacked, what is causing this? I have no viruses. I have no spyware. I want answers, and nobody cares to give them to me. So, right here, under network, <clears throat> why don't you give us an option to say, upload. 
why can't we track exactly what's being uploaded? Because if we could, it would make every security firm's job so much easier. It would make law enforcement's job so much easier if we could actually be progressive and protect ourselves from this unknown threat that you don't want to open your eyes to. Uh, you can compare my videos I made yesterday, <clears throat> and you can see the huge difference in the upload compared to tonight's upload. Well, sin compared to tonight's sin. You see, it's been scamming right here in their app data for over two hours <coughs> so far. Yesterday, it made the scam in an hour and 45 minutes and found Conduit toolbar hidden in these files. Now, I've removed, I've long done away with that on my computer. I have not downloaded any toolbars. I don't use toolbars anymore. I run my scans religiously. So all of a sudden yesterday, Conduit, which I removed years ago using all these scans and going into the registry to remove was on my computer again, hidden in IMVU. But even after removing it, I was still sending far more than receiving to their client. Today, it shows I'm sent receiving more than sending. But then again, it also shows several of these little boxes that keep popping up and disappearing, which I have no clue what are. See, that one was just sent 1900, well, 700, see, they're sending and dropping off as soon as they do. And there we go, my next. Bias in as you starting to pick up. Yeah. All right, so here in Bill Gates, did you see this? <laughs> On the off chance that you care about your customers. Why don't you just tell them to add a little box here so that we can see exactly what's being uploaded so we can have the chance to stop it and we can right click and report it, create a log that sends it straight to authorities. My God, how hard can it be to protect people? You want to protect people? You want to protect corporations? You want to end theft of intellectual property? Why don't you just make one small change to your operating system? Or a few small changes. Create metadata that cannot be altered. That we have to click a little box before anything we're working on can be uploaded, period. Which gives us a chance to say that we want it to be used. If it, we want it to be used, it can be used to spare use. Or people would have to actually get our consent to use it. Just a little yes or no. Oh, and if we don't check yes for fair use, people will have to be forced to contact the creator so that way nobody's violating any laws. Companies aren't out there getting rich off your work, your products, but hey, you don't care about little people, right? I have over 35,000 files. The majority created within a year's time. And graphic artists probably don't produce that much in a year. 
and they make no less than what seventy five thousand seventy six thousand dollars a year and right now all they're doing is altering my work without my consent and you're paying them thousands and thousands of dollars to do it every company out there is using my work because you allow companies like this son of a bitch to steal it unless you're the one doing it since you have that MSN bot that continues to pop up on my computer that's constantly uploading. So tell me who is responsible. You or them. You have no interest in stopping it, so maybe you're party to it. Because you definitely are. You definitely are. Because you're using my designs on your products and you don't give a fuck to stop it. Well, I might just be one person. I might be the only victim, but when I stop creating stuff, they won't be able to steal from me. And they'll have to go to somebody else. And what if they get somebody who has a huge social media following. Or possibly with an attorney in their family. Or the resources to take you on. You could be in a shitload of trouble. Don't you understand that? <sighs> I'll just sit back and wait for that to happen. They won't get no more of my files. I'll just continue just to do text messages until somebody gets it through their head that hey you gotta contact this bitch so she'll shut up and we can get her work 